Hello guys and welcome in the 14th episode. In this episode we will implement our settings scene and about scene. In the settings scene we will be able to restart our game progress and in the about scene you will be able to put some more information about yourself, about the game, whatever you like. Okay, let's get started. Open our project, go to the scene folder, right click, create, scene, I will name it settings, enter, just open this settings scene, we need to remove the skybox, just go to the window, rendering, lighting settings, under the skybox material just press the small dot and choose none, let's close these two windows, we need to change the camera type, just uh, click on the main camera uh, under the persp uh, under the projection just choose auto graphics and all of the rest of the settings are fine just make sure the z position is minus 10 uh, we need to add some backgrounds the same as the in the rest of the scene in our game just press on the resource uh, just click drag and drop the background on the hierarchy i will move the background a little bit up to fit our camera if you have any different view here, you can change this view by pressing this tab here and then choose the aspect ratio, whatever you like. If you don't have this aspect ratio as I have, you can click this plus button and then fix resolution or aspect ratio. And then you can put the, the same values here and then press OK and then set to that. Right, we have our background now. Let's add the scene title. Go to the resources then click on the writings and then you have the settings just drag and drop the settings on the hierarchy i will set the z position for the settings to minus one right and then i will scale it up maybe to 1.5 and 1.5 okay and then uh, just move these settings above maybe i will scale it to two instead I think looks much better. Just position whenever you like. Let's add this reset progress button. Right click inside the hierarchy and then create empty. I will name this object reset progress. Under the reset progress, uh, we will need to put this back line for the button. Just click on the resources, then buttons. And then you have the button back line. Just drag and drop this and, and uh, put on the reset progress, scale it down to 0 0.7 and 0 0.7 and I will move it up to this position 0, over here is going to be 2. Let's add uh, the bottom now, just on the bottom folder uh, find the reset progress bottom and drag and drop under the reset progress, uh, set the Z, Z position for this bottom to be 1, Y position need to be the same as the Y position of the button back line, which is 0, and then X position, just adjust it yourself. I think over here, over here will be fine. Click on this uh, reset progress button and then go to the scripts, scripts folder and drag and drop the button script on it. The scene name, I will leave it blank. Uh, the final X position uh, is gonna be, I think, 3.3 .3 will be fine. Okay, 3.3. .3. Uh, enable sliding effect, that's fine. The type of the button, we don't have a type, we need to actually create the type. Let's press this, uh, this small icon here in the, in the corner and then uh, press edit script. You have the enum button type, we have, add, uh, we have to add another type. Uh, just go right at the, at the end and then press the just put the reset progress, Re reset progress, okay, save it. Inside the move to position function, we have to add another F statement right at the top. If type is equal to button type dot reset progress, then what we want to do is um, in the last episode we have added the config file and we have already implemented our reset picture function, we just need to call this function from inside the bottom script. Let's go back to the bottom, 
and then over here just put the config dot reset picture just save it okay let's go back to the unity just press on this re reset progress button and then choose the type to be reset progress okay let's add another button uh, which will be the back button to just actually move back to the to the main menu right click create empty back button go to the resources buttons button back line the drag and drop it be under the back button and then I will position it in a corner and then scale it down to 0 0.6 0 0.6 okay then uh, find the back the back graphic and drag and drop under the back button go to the scripts drag and drop the button script on the back button then from the type we we'll choose the main menu button press on the scene and we need to load the main menu scene we need to set the z position to be 1 and then we need to set the y to be the same as the back line and then x position I will set the same as the back line and then move on this side okay and then let's find the final sliding position which is gonna be 9.4 okay let's save everything just save the scene press play okay we have uh, our aspect ratio actually it's not it's not great just choose the free aspect okay uh, press on the back button as you can see the buttons are not working correctly let's see why there, there's one thing which we forgot to add uh, click on the back button and then add component and we choose the box collider box collider component and then we need to add uh, the rigid body rigid body component to, to this bottom just from the rigid body uh, uncheck the use gravity otherwise the bottom will be fall down let's press pray and just see if it's working it's working fine okay let's do the same for the reset progress button just click on the reset progress and then add rigid body and add box collider and then unche uncheck the use gravity okay i think uh, the final exposition for the reset button should be 2.5 let's test it okay a little bit less i think two looks okay and for the back button the final exposition will be uh, 8.5 I think looks okay okay but the, there is one problem when we press the settings the game is not transferring to the to the settings scene let's fix it just go back to the main menu save everything and then inside the settings uh, just go to the settings buttons and click on the settings and then under the buttons we need to put the scene name which is gonna be the settings settings okay let's play the scene is not loaded because we have forgot to add the settings scene to the build just uh, open the settings scene press save go to the file build set build settings and then inside the build uh, scene in build just add open scenes okay we have the settings in here now let's go back to the main menu press play again click on the settings and the game is loaded fine okay as you can see the the reset button is working we can test it again like uh, go to the end of the picture press start then give up okay choose picture we have the green mark on let's go back go to the settings reset progress go back play as you can see the green mark has disappeared okay that's mean that that re reset button is working fine another thing which we need to do is we need to add this about scene just uh, right click create scenes i will name it about open the about scene go to the window rendering lighting settings skybox material press the small dot choose none just close everything press on the main camera just set it to orthographics 
go to the resources, drag and drop the background, okay, and then move this background a little bit up. I will scale it up to 1.2 and 1.2, right? Go back to the freeze aspect. We need to add the back button. Just right click, create empty, name it back, back button. Go to the buttons, button back line, just drag and drop on the back button. Okay, so just set the Z position to 2 and then scale it down to be 0 0.6 and 0 0.6. I will move it here in the corner to actually position it right. I will just set the same aspect ratio for now as in the previous scene. Okay, we have the button back line. Just drag and drop the back button under the back button and then set the Z position to be 1. Uh, the Y position need to be the same as the button back line. And the X position I will set the same as well. Okay, let's move it on the side. Go to the scripts. And drag and drop the button script on the back button. Uh, main menu button, that's fine. The scene name will be the... Do not make any mistake. Main menu. And then we need to find the final Y position. Okay, I will think I will put the just try with 8. Okay, and then here in the scene, you can add actually UI and then text. And then you can just uh, set the font size. Okay, we, you can put any text you like over here. Whatever you like, any information about your game is up to you really. I just put this text to give you an example how this one may look. You can adjust, uh, modify the color. You can set different color for your text. Or modify, what do, do, do whatever you like with the text. Okay, we need to save the scene now. Just file, save scene. And then we need to add the scene to the build. Just go to the file, build settings, and then add open scene. We have the about scene in. Okay, let's uh, go back to the main menu. And then click on the about button. About. And then in the button script, we need to put the scene name about. Okay, let's play. And just test everything. Uh, just change this aspect ratio to be free aspect. Uh, press on the about. We have forgot to add this uh, collision box to the bottom. Just go back to the about scene. Just save. Press on this uh, back button. And then add component box collider and add component rigid body. And uncheck the use gravity. And then press play. All right, make sure you just choose the free aspect ratio. Yeah, this text is not looking great. We we have to resize it. Just press back. It's working fine. And then about. Okay. Okay. Uh, just go to the text. And then set the font size to be 30. Maybe the width to be... And the width to be 800. Press play. I think it looks much better, but uh, it's uh, really up to you whatever information you want to put here. You can put whatever you like. Okay, that will be pretty much it from the game's perspective. I think the game is fully the game is fully working now. You can give up. You can go to the next picture. Okay, choose picture, the picture is fine, settings, reset progress, back button. Okay, there was uh, one book inside the, inside the settings, scene, go to the scene, settings. The button back line has disappeared. Uh, because the Z position is set to 10, we need to set the pos Z position to be 2. Okay, and then go back to the main menu, save. Let's press play again. Let's actually choose the maximize on play. Okay, then settings is fine. Okay, the back button is fine. About is fine. Play. In the next episode, we will actually create our Google Play account and start preparing for releasing this game.
So thank you for, for watching and see you again in the next episode. Thank you.